It is that time of year and I am packing up my turkey vest. I want to show you what I'm taking into the field this year. This is the DSG turkey vest. It is created and designed with a female fit in mind. This is the second season that I will be using this vest. Um, it is a one size fit most. It has adjustable shoulder straps here, adjustable panel straps here. Um, it only comes in real tree edge right now. And it has a couple different features and pockets, so let's get into it. First off, with this front pocket, it has two pot call pockets. I am going to be taking the Rocky Mountain Hoax and their aluminum call out there. And they just slide nicely into these pockets, and they have these little elastic closures, so you can cinch them down and you will not be losing your call if you're running and gunning. The next pocket is this Magna magnetic closure pocket and it has these two little mesh sleeves right here for mouth calls i actually have one mouth call in there right now which is the rocky mountain goblin and a piece of sandpaper so i can keep that nice and handy for those pot calls and in the pocket i have two strikers Next is this top really full zip pouch. It actually runs the full length of the panel and it has another couple um, little elastic pockets in it. This will probably be for snacks, to be honest. Um, last year, I just had a whole bunch of jerky stuffed in here. Um, so I'll probably just keep snacks in this pocket. Moving to this panel, there's also a lot of pocket storage. The first one being the box call down here. Something that I like, an added feature, was this extra elastic right here to keep the box call from moving or making any noise as you're traveling. I will be taking the Rocky Mountain Strutter out there. The next pocket is another magnetic enclosure pocket. These are just like so nice. I, I love the um, attention to detail there. It actually has these six shotgun shell holders here, so um, I don't have them there right now, but that's where I keep my ammo. And then this top pocket is another really long, deep pocket. I will keep a monocular. I'm going to take either the Vortec, which is probably my smallest one, or my Bushnell um, monocular. It was actually the most used item last year. Also in this pocket, I have my DSG uh, the new gloves that have the um, exposed finger and thumb, they're super lightweight. And I have a mesh uh, face mask to wear as well. Moving on to the interior of the vest are these big mesh pockets, also really good for snacks. Um, but I have a packet of these uh, buck wipes in here. These are a scentless wipe. They are 100% plant-based biodegradable wipe. They have no alcohol in them, so it's really nice on your skin, does not dry you out. Um, and their packaging is actually really quiet considering. So, um, I will have a pair, a pack of those in here as well. Let's talk about the back of the vest. So you have a detachable seat here that has, um, a really nice, generous amount of padding. Now I sat for a long time on this seat and I was so grateful <laughs> for the extra padding that it has here and it has a hard bottom but it is actually really really light um, next to that is the game pouch which is also you can open it you can put your you know game in here decoy in here I also we were on a really large ranch last year and I threw a water bottle in there as well so um, lots of uses for that big game pouch. It also is lined and it's easily cleaned. And one last safety feature that they added was a blaze orange flag um, coming out the back if you are traveling with birds and decoys on public land. This is really nice to have um, just to help with your safety. So that is all I am taking in my turkey vest this year. Let me know what is your go-to items. What do you not leave behind when you go turkey hunting?